Okay, now let's talk about join four tables. How could we join four tables? So think about table A, table B, table C, and table D. So how could we join all these four tables through the inner join and fetch the, all the common records or the matching records? Well, let's see in practically how could we do that. And this is the syntax. Uh, basically, you're joining joining table A, B, then C, then D. So let's um, do it practically, it will make more sense. So, so let's go to the MySQL workbench and we're going to create like this report. So basically it's going to create, it's going to find all the client name, inverse ID, inverse number, amount paid and the payment method by using uh, the four tables. So it's going to fetch all these details. So how could we create like this table format the data by joining the so I'm going to use account database to find out the solution of this problem. So in the account database you could see here there are four tables. One is the client table, one is the invoice table, then one is the payment method table, one is the payments table. So we're going to join this all these four tables. So in the client table, you could see all these clients are there, and the invoice table, all this client having all the invoices. The invoice date, due date, payment date, everything is there. Then the payment table, all invoices ID and the amount has been paid. And the good payment method has been used. In the payment method table is described. What are the payment methods like credit card, cash, PayPal, all these things and so on. So let's start. So let me close this. Okay. So to uh, to use a database, um, the syntax what do you know? What is the syntax? That's correct. Use account and execute this so that this database is active and it's going to be used. You could see it here. Now we're going to join first the so let's fetch all the records, then we'll refactor based on this um, requirement. What is defined in line number two? So select star from clients. I'll give a C as alias name, join, and again we're gonna do through the inner join. So join invoices. I'll give alias name INV. Then on. So in the client table, the client ID, and invoice table, there's a client ID. So I'm gonna join with that. So C dot client underscore ID. Client spelling is wrong. C L I E N T client ID equals to INV dot C L I E N T client underscore ID. So let's execute this. It should work. That's cool. Now 17 row fetched. Then after that, I'm going to um, jo join with the payments table. So payments table is having all the invoice ID. So basically, I'm going to join all the data what I got to the invoice ID with this invoice ID. So let's write that. So join uh, payments. So I'll give a list name as PAY, pay. So on pay dot invoice underscore ID equals to IMB dot invoice underscore ID. So now let's execute this. This code now now you could see this is narrowed down from 17 to 8 row or fixed. And because in the client table you could see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the invoice table you could see only the client ID which is having 1, 2, 3, 5, 4 is not there. So that's how it's, it's, the data is getting narrowed down and the combination is getting reduced. So that's good. Now, what are we going to do? Now, we're going to join with payment method table. So in the payment method table, we have a payment method ID. So I'm going to join with that, the payment method. So what I'm going to do, join payment methods so I'll give this one as PM 
as a guess name so on pm dot payment underscore meter underscore id equal to so payment method basically under the payments table so you could see here payment method so what i'm going to do pm because pm is the alias name for uh payment no sorry pay pay dot payment underscore method so let's execute this now you could see eight row fetched so now i'm before we proceed you could see in the payment table there are total eight records and all has been paid by payment method one and two so one and two basically one is credit card two is cash everything is paid by this one and two nothing is paid by payment method ID three and four by paypal or web transfer so let's see that so after that what i'm going to do i'm going to do and so basically i'm going to find out the payment method name so if you see in the payment table only one record has been paid by uh, two payment method id two so two is nothing but the cash so if i put to the cash it should fit only one record so where if i do pm payment method table pm dot name equal to cash so if i execute this it should fit only one record yes so now if you go to the here it says client id 5 and in the result you could see the client id 5 that means it's working fine then in, if you go to the client table if client id 5 the name is mitali so you could see here its name is mitali the address everything and the price is also everything has been fetched correctly so now what do we need to do we need to based on requirement we need to refactor our code so let's put all the conditions so i'm going to, I'm going to find the client name that is my requirement so client table i have given alias name is c so c dot uh in the client table name is given as a name so c dot name is client name then after that invoice id it's under invoice table so inv dot invoice underscore id i think that's correct let me check it out if it is invoice id yes invoice id then comma then invoice number so let's check what is the invoice number column here it's just number so here inv dot number is invoice number comma then after that amount so amount is under the payment table so pa so i can say pa pay dot amount as amount paid then after that the payment method so payment method in this table so pm dot name pm dot name again we can beautify this code by pressing command b so it look good and everything so now if i execute this sorry i need to execute this one so now you could see so for the client name invoice id invoice number amount paid and the name so payment okay amount one second yeah amount paid and the name pm dot name so in this in a, you can say it's payment method payment method to to clear readable so for better understanding so payment method now if i execute it should have okay client metally invoice number id invoice number amount and cash so if I do buy same thing by credit card, so if I copy this credit card, it should have more seven records. So let's see if it does work. So copy this, paste it, now execute. So now you could see here seven rows first. That's, that's great. 
Now if I do for payment method PayPal, you should not face any record because in the payment table you could see only payment method we use one and two. So and in the payment method one and two is credit card and cash. So three is the PayPal. So it should not face any records. So let me pass here PayPal and try to execute. See there is zero record. So that's how you can join the four, uh, four table and again you can put as many as condition and you want to see how many uh, client has paid more than $50 less than $50 you can put and payment amount less than $50 you can use as many as condition you can refactor this code as you like again thank you that's it for the uh, how can you can join the four, four tables so if, you, if this video is useful to you don't forget to like comment and subscribe it means a lot to me Thank you. Namaste.